Hello, and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. Today we will be doing water power, or water mills, which power industrial craft machinery. Now, water mills are built like so. Four wooden planks, four sticks, and a generator which builds two water mills. Now, water mills cannot be placed like this. This is a bad configuration for a water mill. The water mill produces power on the amount of blocks that are surrounding it. So this is producing a small amount of power, but there's only six blocks around it. Sorry, eight. Eight blocks around it. Now this is a better setup because there are more water blocks around it, which is one underwater, and one the water mill underwater, and then the rest of it is surrounding the water mill, which are water source blocks, which gives more power. And then finally, if you have water underneath, on the level and above, it produces more power. So water mills are fairly cost efficient. They cost quite a lot less than a solar panel, but don't produce as much electricity. But to begin with, they're a good source of power. Now this is a setup using red power machinery and the water mills. If I activate this, the deployer will pick up a bucket of water because it has empty buckets in its inventory. Then the filter will pull it out and then pump it in to the water mills. Then, when the water mill has used up the bucket of water, it will be taken out by the retriever, which is powered by solar panels, and put back into the deployer. And this is a very effective design because water mills produce a lot more power if they're given a bucket of water instead of having water all around them. This is because getting a bucket of water into the water mill is hard just using industrial craft machines. So with the, the, this setup, it's automatic and produces a considerable amount of power. Now, I'm just going to turn this off. The machinery that, that is needed is a receiver, which is crafted like so, and you craft brass ingots and blue alloy ingots like this. Now this is an alloy furnace, which is part of red power, and you place the requisite amount of coal in and the materials. So you'll be able to see that the redstone and iron it smells down into this red alloy, which can be used to make this and the brass is like so. And this is the silicon bull, which I'll come back to in a minute. Now, after uh, the, the rest of it is classical Minecraft stuff, apart from the filter, which is just like this. and the project table, uh, the, sorry, deployer, which is built like this. Now, you might be wondering how you craft a red doped wafer. So, here I crafted the silicon bool with eight coal and eight sand. Then, you place the silicon bool in a project table or a crafting table with a diamond handsaw and cut it into silicon wafers. And if you put silicon wafers in a alloy furnace, turn them into the red doped wafer which is needed for the filter as we can see here so this was a short introduction to the water mills which are a different source of power than solar panels and in the next tutorial we'll be looking at nuclear power the nuclear reactor thank you for watching if you liked please thumbs up and subscribe. Goodbye.